everyone how are we doing today oh my god i am i am okay <laughs> i am scared for this video okay today i'm gonna be roasting your bookshelves i'm gonna be roasting your bookshelves and i am nervous <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> So here's the thing, right? I had the idea, I was like, oh my God, it'd be so much fun to roast everyone's bookshelves. It'd be like the best thing ever, right? Um, then I realized I have to be mean <laughs> and I don't want to offend anyone. I mean, who am I to talk? You may be like, Megan, your bookshelves suck ass. And if you said that, that's okay. That's okay. We're all, we all have opinions. We all have an opinion. I would like to defend myself, but sadly that's the truth. So, in this video, I'm going to be an actrice, okay? I'm gonna be an actress. I'm gonna be mean, okay? And no one, please get offended. So please don't get offended. Anything I say is said in jest. I'm gonna try and say things that people who have strong opinions would say. Do you know what I mean? So that's what we're gonna try and do. But I'm gonna roast your bookshelves. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like really get there. I'm looking for good organization, beautiful shelves. I'll have some of my controversial book opinions thrown in there. So let's get into it. I am going to record my screen. I'm also using a new mic for the first time, but it's gonna like pick me up doing, I think you can hear that quite loudly. It's gonna pick up my mouse. So apologies. Um, <laughs> let's do this. Let's be mean! Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Right, we have 66 responses. I don't think I will do all of them, but let's see. Okay, first we have Krista. Bought these shelves a couple days ago, slowly adding more books. Yes. <laughs> I would not call this a bookshelf yet. Well, Here's the thing. I'm gonna be mean. I have to be mean. I have to be mean because it's only a few days ago I will allow it. You haven't had long to fill them up. However, I feel like a You've stacked sideways to start off with which I have done so like I can't be a hypocrite and say you shouldn't do it but I think sideways stacking is only needed when you're lacking space you know what I mean or to change up the look of the shelves to break up the linear you know if you have a lot of linear it can be good to break it up but I use it particularly for when I am lacking space to fit more books in you don't need space <laughs> all of our bookshelves when we start stacking sideways just need a bit of space if that's okay <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have stacked the other way and maybe put some stuff on there to make it not look as bad because it's not quite shelves yet. Whoa, this is horrible. I hate this. Okay, Leo. Get out of here. Honestly, get out of here. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. <laughs> These are some of the most gorgeous. Gorgeous. Some the most gorgeous bookshelves I've ever seen. The best, maybe the best. Leo is obviously benefiting. Leo, if you know, very aesthetic, probably the aesthetic queen, probably the ultra most aesthetic person. So like the trinkets all have their place. They all go together in a theme. I mean, it's just stunning. It is objectively Stunning. Probably the best shells we're gonna see on this entire on this entire thing. I will say I'm not a biggest fan of the 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 book butt. <laughs> like not seeing the book spine. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I feel like just show show the book. Do you know what I mean? But I understand you're doing it for the aesthetic. I understand your thinking behind it. And I'm not the biggest fan of like when you've got books going that way then putting ones on top of it the other way i'm not a big fan of that i'm not a big fan of that ali okay we have a lot we have a lot of books we have a lot of books we have a lot of books oh my god that's 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 a lot i like the uniformity in the stacking i feel like you've grouped books together well like here's my thing i like similar heights grouped together. I love seeing the linear like, oh my God, we're all on the same level. So this one bothers me here because I mean, but it is part of a series. So I understand, I understand the choice, but like, does it bother you too is what I wanna know because we have like levels, 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 levels dip. You know what I mean? And we're on similar levels here, but I, listen, the trinkets are very nice. Do you have a, is that a Starbucks cup? <laughs> 
your Starbucks cup on your bookshelf. <laughs> That's a choice. That is, that is a choice. Um, we got some candles. We got some stuff from book boxes that I recognize. I think this is great. I really, really like this. I like the stacking on top. I honestly can't fault this. I like the plants. The only thing that's questionable is the Starbucks cup. I mean, are we that wedded to the Starbucks obsession? I don't really get it. It's very strange. <laughs> uh oh, I like, oh, these are interesting. Okay, oh, oh. I'm not roasting these very well. I'm like liking all of your bookshelves. I like the color of this. I do like a good colored shelf. I think my dream shelf would be like forest green, like a room of like, or like muted green, sage green. I like green at the moment in home decor. Um, so if I was like to make like an inbuilt bookshelf, I think it would be like forest green or sage green or something, but we'll get into this later. Some of you are gonna have black bookshelves, I bet. I, I don't. They just make it seem depressing to me. I don't know. Anyway, I like the color. I also like that we've got like lots of different, is it different sections here? That's interesting. We have stumbled across. I know Daniel Green does these videos, by the way, and me and him have the same arch nemesis, Funko Pops. I don't get it. I hate her. I tell you now. I don't, I, I genuinely, I hate them. Uh, you'll never see me buying a Funko Pop. Say it now, record that, record it forevermore. You will never see me buying a Funko Pop. Uh-uh, nope, nope, definitely not. <laughs> I hate them. And I will say on your smaller shelf, just like, I feel like we're double stacked here. I don't like the overhanging. It reminds me of cliffhangers, you know, when like you're wearing a shoe and like some, you know, like a high heel, a woman's wearing a high heel and like her toes are hanging off it. They're, they're cliffhangers. So I would, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Kendra, listen, kind of iconic, kind of iconic. I have to admit, a coffin bookshelf, I, listen, I don't like black. I find it kind of depressing. Not for me, but kind of iconic. The cat, kind of scary. I mean, I love cats, but kind of scary. Okay, Teresa coming in here with a smiley, a double smiley face, a double fucking smiley face coming in bold. We have got the rainbow shells. Of course we have. We have got meticulous, you know, collections of series, complete series. Teresa is coming in here with complete series. Now, I will say, great shelf, but the amount of complete series like every there's not a single i can't see a single series that doesn't have its companion scares me a little bit scares me a little bit there's two opposing chaotic energies one is only having first books of series on your bookshelf which is me and then the other one is having every series complete complete and there's and i feel like the real healthy balance is somewhere in between now again i can't talk because i have i have literally just first books in series on there but the amount of complete series kind of terrifies me. I feel like that's kind of crazy behavior. I just think she's very delusional and maybe possibly insane. Colleen, oh my God, this is an impressive shelf. Funko Pops, not only Funko Pops, but Funko Pops still in boxes. That's a choice. That is a choice. That is a choice. Oh my God, I'm being mean. Okay, <laughs> let's carry on. I'm not sure how I feel about these face out here. I feel like, yeah, I feel like your face outs need to be a bit more intentional. Here's the thing. I feel like you've all given me intentionally good shelves. This is hard. The double stacking, the sideways. I'm not sure I love how they're stacked. Yeah, this is kind of, the more I look at it, on the outside, it looks perfect. And the more you zoom in, the more you see. <laughs> And then we have, all you need is love and a good book. Colleen, all you need is to get rid of that sign. <laughs> I hate it, I hate being mean. Oh my God, what is it with all of you? Amy, free yourself, free yourself from Funko Pops. Oh my God, what series is this, Amy? The Complete Pretty Little Liar series? I try and I, I came into this thinking I'm only gonna judge, I'm only gonna judge the bookshelf organization itself, but I draw a line at the entire Pretty Little Liars series. Amy, Amy, scream if you need help. I will say, I love these at the moment. I'm like tempted to get one myself, like the little TBR like baskets, because here's the thing, I obviously have a TBR cart, but that is now just full with 150 books. So I feel like I need to get a TBR basket to like further 
whittle down my <laughs> my TBR. Yeah. Okay. Listen, Funko Pops. We move. Oh, Zoe. Are we sure about this? Are we sure? How are you? Zoe, I mean, you know, you know, at least you're self-aware, you know, this ain't shit. This screams of someone, I don't even know what it screams of, of someone who desperately, desperately needs help. <laughs> Firstly, I mean, listen, all of you just seem to be psychotic with the Funko Pops. I mean, I, I just don't get it. Who's that? Karl Marx? Okay. <laughs> And the fact that you didn't even try to hide this at least shows me you're starting to accept your fate. Oh my God. I mean, come on. At this point, there's no hope for the rest of us. Now I will say, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of rainbow shelves. That's controversial. I know everyone loves them. Delete, erase, unfollow, whatever. But I, mm, no, no, I'm not a big fan of them. I like my series to be grouped together. I really like series to be grouped together and I like genres to be grouped together. I don't know, just the thought of series being separated, like it just being a whole ass mess. Now I can't actually see a ton of series here. There's Siege and Storm, Heartstopper, but like, don't you want all your Heartstoppers together? Like it just doesn't vibe with me. I don't like it. However, these guys are cute. You get extra points for them. Karis, are you too late? No, you're here. Okay. First of all, I like the decor surrounding the bookshelf. I feel like the bookshelf, it feels like it's in a complete room. You know, sometimes you see bookshelves and they're fucking in the, in the desert. Do you know what I mean? They're in the middle of nowhere and you're like, what are we doing here? But I like the vibes we've got going on here. I want to know who, is that B? No, who is that? <gasps> it's McFly! Okay, we get extra points. McFly? Cameras, that's a good plus point. I love the hand. I always used to want one of them, but I don't wear jewelry, so that's a point. Funko Pop. But it's a Belle Funko Pop. Now, here's the thing. Belle is my favorite Disney princess, so I will allow that one to slide. I like this. I like the switch on the bookshelf, actually. Um, I like your shelves, Cameras. I think they're nice. Now, do we need a little bit of filling in some space? Yes, but like, it's a constant battle between your bookshelves being full and getting a new bookshelf like it's a constant battle it's a very hard line to tread so i would say i like them i really like your bookshelves okay paulina let's go oh oh this again is a very like type a personality bookshelf oh 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 she's got special editions she's got special editions they are out here with the special editions <laughs> i'm fashion i'm style and if they can't keep up then that's their problem. Now that is, that is crazy to me. I mean, come on. Everything, everything is a special edition. Multiple Addie LaRue's. A choice, a choice. <laughs> I mean, look at this, the special sleeves. I see you, Paulina, I see you. I like the shelves, I like them. I'll give you like, you know, it's, they're solid. Jasmine. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I immediately saw all of these hidden spines and I thought, psychotic. I thought, we have a problem. But then I saw Jasmine's reply saying, the ones with the hidden spine are my TBR. You have a lot of TBR, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I personally prefer, until you've read the book, don't put it on your bookshelf. Have a separate system, like a TBR cut, is my opinion. I don't like it. Also, dark shelves, we all know, not my favorite. Now listen, this is obviously the bookshelf, someone who loves books, and I admire that, but I don't know if I agree with your TBR method. Current setup, awful lighting. No, this is good. Okay, we've got a TBR cut, pros. Do you need to put all these books up here when you have space down here? That is my question to you. That is my question, just a question. Again, I'm not a fan of brown shelves. Was that a, tr I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> When I see brown shelves, I always think people didn't have a choice in the matter in having them. And if you didn't have a choice, if that's all you had, like what your family had, that's fine. Like my family have brown shelves in there. But if you had a choice, I question it. <laughs> she was old. She was very f***ing rude. <gasps> Weren't she? Interesting. Now these are inter- What? Mm. Now the hard shelves, I have one. I'm not the biggest fan of them. First of all, bring the books forward. Bring the books forward. I know like on a shelf where you have trinkets, fair enough, but like bring the books to the front 
of the shelf because they just look hidden in the shadows and we want to be proud of them. We want to be proud of the books. So bring them forward. That is my number one, number one issue there because it's like you're hiding them. Like they're like carrying in the corner. No, we want to bring them to the forefront. Oh, okay. I do have a soft spot for shelves on the wall. I do. Mm, if you don't see the book you want on this shelf, write it. I kind of like that. I kind of like that, you know? I like that. Now we've got a lot of side stacking and I understand why, because you don't have a lot of space. You don't have a lot of space. We have a lot of book of the month editions, which I do, I do love a good book of the month edition. Um, I like some of the art. You've got family pictures on here, got good lighting. You're working, like when you're working, you're surrounded by it. I like these shelves. I like these shelves. I really like them. I don't really have much to critique. Jennifer, now Jennifer. Now you're just, you're just embarrassing the rest of us. And you know it with the little star eye emoji. Get out. <laughs> I like them. Good mix of some side stacking to shake it up a little bit when you need space, but not too much. We're not, you know, reliant on it. Good amount of like face outers, not too much. <gasps> Forgotten women, the leaders. I don't think you guys understand how rare that book series is. Okay, that's a plus point. I, oh my God, that's the first time I've ever seen that on someone else's shelf. Um, I like this. I like these shelves. They're very nice. These are my prettiest shelves. That is pretty. That is pretty. I feel like, I mean, I'm not very good at racing these. <laughs> I just like most of your shelves. I like dead flowers, yellow shelves a choice. Gilmore Girls autograph. I've never watched Gilmore Girls. I know I'm in the minority there, but like that doesn't do anything for me. I don't know if I'm vibing with your shelves. I don't know if I like the yellow and I like yellow. Evidently yellow is right behind me, but I don't know if I agree with that for a bookshelf. That's a strong choice. Also, I don't know why, but these shelves just remind me of like, you just intimidate me a bit with some of your book choices here. I feel like this is like the shelf of a clever person. It reminds me of like a library. I feel like I'm in a library with some of the books going on here and I don't know how I, how I feel about that. Ali, scream if you need help. Scream if you need help. Yes. This yes. is a concern and a worry. <laughs> the dog says, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is a lot. I mean, here's the thing. It's like a dream. I'm making fun. I'm roasting. But like to have this many books and book space. Oh my God. Like that is it now. For when, I'm, when I'm still living at home, that is it. We're not getting any more bookshelves in. So I can dream. I like the curve. I, I mean, here's the thing. The toys on top, that is a lot. There's a lot of them. It's not one or two, it's 20. But... I, listen, I do like them. They look kind of fat and cute, so I like them. You got good facing outness, a good mix of like some trinkety stuff. I mean, there's a Funko Pop, there's another Funko Pop, there's multiple Funko Pops. So let's like, you know, judge you for that. But it's a dream, but also that's commitment, you know? I really like how these bookshelves fit within the room. I don't know if I'm a fan of mugs on bookshelves. I don't know if they, they fit necessarily. Um, also, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> huh? What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Why do we have Thor? <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, and then I'm, I'm trying to hide us from the travesty that is a lot of Funko Pops. A lot of Funko Pops. A lot of them. A lot of them. The bottom shelf as well. We need some organization there. Come on, come on, let's get it together before you want to read. I will say I love your other shelf. I, I love this. I love the ladder. I love the design of them. I love the kind of antiquiness of them. So I will say I do love this shelf. I will give you plus point for that. But just like, I mean, the Funko Pops. Now this, now this is a shelf. I like fairy lights. I know they're not necessarily everyone's cup of tea, but I really like, I mean, evidently I've got them. I really like fairy lights. I love him. What's his name? Oh my God, look at these special editions. My laptop is starting to overheat. So apologies if the mic is picking up on that. I love the green chair here. I love the mix of outwards of stacks. I think this is a good variety, a well-built shelf. You got some special editions of stuff. I like that shelf. I really like that shelf. What do we have here? Whoa, whoa. Oh, the dog says, yeah, I know. <laughs> Your dogs, you know, they they looking into my soul and they say, yeah, I know. The Funko Pops. <laughs> Why do you have them? <laughs> um, Rainbow. 
I just feel like rainbow shelves are something that like 14 year olds do. I feel like we should leave rainbow shelves in the past. Is that controversial? I don't know. It just looks cluttered to me with the Funko Pops. I just, I feel like we're overdoing it on the trinkets, on this shelf in particular, in this area, it's a lot. The other shelves, not so much, you know, that's, oh my God. Oh, I love you. Um, the other shelves are a better mix, I feel like, of, I mean, like this in particular, I do like, I mean, get rid of the Funko Pops, but I like this stuff on the shelf. But the first one, I feel like we're overdoing it. I feel like it's become a problem. I feel like it obviously has become a problem. My shelves are so messy. Like, listen, at least you're aware. I mean, come on, what's going on here? It just looks like, is that a hammer? Why do you have a hammer? That's a hammer. Why do you have a hammer on your bookshelves? I'm a little bit concerned. It screams, I mean, come on. It screams of you shoving shit onto your bookshelves when you don't want to bother paying it away elsewhere. And like, treat your bookshelves with more respect. Is that wrapping paper? What is that? I, I mean, that's, that is, that is tape. You are shoving shit on your bookshelves when you don't want to put them anywhere else. And I have done that in the past, but I come to you as a past person doing that. And I say, treat your bookshelves with more respect. <laughs> we're gonna ignore the messy bottom shelves. Oh, but we're not, Phoebe. We're not gonna ignore them. We're gonna zoom right into them because yeah. Here's the thing. Mine are currently like that. Once again, because I have too many books. So, I mean, who am I? Who am I to roast you? But also I can, because it's my job. Um, the rainbow spines. I know people love them, but I can't get into it. It's a problem. I can't get into it. Listen, people might have a problem with Buffy and Angel. I do not. I do not. I love Buffy. I grew up watching one episode of Buffy, the one where they sing over and over again, because it was all I was allowed to watch when I was six, but I loved it. And I put it on, um, I made CDs for like, there were some days we could, <laughs> we could make CDs and take them into class for like days we we're having a party. And I used to always put it on there, but they swear on them. So my mom was like, no, you can't play that. So anyway, the art up here again, I don't really get character art necessarily but again it's Buffy so I, I'll excuse that I'll excuse that listen Naomi you took yours just at the right moment as the sun was coming through I love plants I love fake or real plants on bookshelves I feel like I don't get things necessarily on bookshelves like mugs or Funko Pops but I love plants I have a lot of plants on my bookshelf I feel like bookshelves should have plants on them you know and candles I get you know they're all things I approve of Gorgeous shelves. Yeah, I definitely approve TBR cart to separate out the TBR. Listen, Lucy. Now, here's the thing. You could have one less bookshelf because of we have a lot of empty space. I'm not a fan of empty space like this. It reminds me of celebrity homes who have obviously had someone curate their bookshelf and it's not a bookshelf. It reminds me of that. I don't care. Even one empty, empty thing, I don't like it. You could have one less shelf. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. That's for a coffee table. That's not for a bookshelf. Sorry. I apologize. I will say they're nice. Listen, listen, they look all nice together, but why have you got books hiding down here when you could have them up here? I don't understand the empty space bookshelves. I don't get it. Tia, why, why, why did you bring this to me? A bookshelf that doesn't even have shelves? You just wanted to see me cry. You yeah. I was angry. I was angry. You actually just wanted to be mean to me. Sid, listen, Sid. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Sid, it's a problem. I'm actually, I actually feel uncomfortable. I actually, Sid, come on now. I am very uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. You have space for a bookshelf. You literally, right here, where you have stacks of books, you could put a bookshelf. Now, I feel like Sid is moving, like, in the process of moving or moving soon, so I can understand that, but like, the bookshelf is the most important thing. You have a table that is literally just filled with books, so you can't even use the table. This is like an episode of Hoarders. Sid, we need to get you on Hoarders. You think, you think you're all fancy with the tabbing, but then you zoom out and it's a mess. Sid, Sid. <laughs> Listen, Harriet, you know, you're looking at me, you're looking at me in the eye and you're saying, I know I'm that bitch. I know I'm that bitch. Look at this. Look at, look at the collection of Penguin Cloth Band Classics. Now, I ask you, how many of them have you actually read? Think about that.
Think about that. You've been very, very harsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Kelly Arsh. Because I bet you, it's not a lot. <laughs> so I, I immediately feel like we have got a mix here of unread and read sharing the space, which I just morally object to. If you have read them all, good for you. But I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Why is the unicorn facing backwards? as if it has something to hide. I feel like the unicorn has seen something it wished it didn't see and is like turning around like, no. <laughs> I'm fishing for compliments. Well, you're not gonna get any. <laughs> Again, some of you love having like every toy under the sun. That is one of my favorite Pokemon. I call him Pawsey. So you get plus points for that. Um, But like, why, why? I, I mean, I like the fairy lights. Do I like? um bookish merch not really <laughs> we have a lot of empty space here we have a lot of empty space again you wanted the shelves for the curve we could have got rid of a few of them and been more concise and then eventually expanded i feel like i don't like people expanding beyond their means in terms of bookshelves when you've got space on less bookshelves that is my opinion that is my opinion i don't know that anyone else likes dark shelves well i don't <laughs> How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! Funko Pops. Interesting, interesting, interesting choice. As you can see, I need more shelving space. Well, actually, I think you're coping quite well. It looks very, like, concise. I think you're coping quite well with not having a lot of shelf space. Like, I feel like, not so much on this one, we got a lot of leaners, we got a lot of, like, multi-level stuff that I'm well I quite like that I like that use of space but this one looks really good like it's all like concise and tight so I do like that I like polaroids I like plants I like all these kind of cottage corey decorations that people have I think they're very cute I mean look at that guy how could you not love him so on that note I think that is enough roasting of bookshelves I hope you enjoyed this video let me know which of these bookshelves was your favorite that we saw that we perused I feel like I wasn't that good at roasting the shelves but maybe I'll just edit it down to like the best roasts that I had but I feel like it was hard because a lot of you had really nice bookshelves you knew you had nice bookshelves you guys all knew you had nice bookshelves so it was very hard to roast I liked pretty much all of them that I saw I just had to you know I had to really go there in my method acting. <laughs> um, but if you got to the end of this video, comment a heart emoji which your favorite shelves are. So if you like the dark shelves, comment the black heart. If you like the white shelves, comment the white heart. If you like fucking green shelves, comment the green heart. Comment a heart for your favorite color of shelves down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.